There are not many more cigars that give me more excitement and anticipation than this cigar. And I promise you, I'll pronounce the name correctly this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is EKB, EKB TV, and you are watching Vintage Cigar. This is I Want the Smoke, and this is the final episode of the season, episode nine. Let me ask you something. What would you do if I uh, went away? Went away where, man? I don't know. I mean, if I just kind of disappeared, you know? And we got a special cigar today. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm trying to contain myself for this video and that's no exaggeration at all. I'm really hype about this particular cigar. Today we have Amaforte. This is by Placencia. And Placencia is known for their curation of tobacco and how they take care of their tobacco, how it's aged, how it's processed, how it's handled, and how it's delivered to the many, many factories that are using Placencia cigars. They decided to go off on their own and to make their own brand and to stand out. And in just a short amount of time, they've really established themselves as premier premium cigar makers. And on the top of that list is the Amaforte. So this cigar has been in my humidor for quite some time. I want to tell you guys all about it. Let's get into the first segment where there's smoke. Where there's smoke, there is fire. And I cannot tell you how beautiful, elegant, well-made, and just outstanding this cigar is. The reputation is there. I've smoked plenty of Placencia cigars. This is my first time smoking this, and I've been holding on to it for quite some time. I've had this cigar for almost a year. My initial run for this particular cigar was through Cigar Bid. I did a bid on it, got it for a reasonable price, it was mailed to my house, and somehow my wife decided to throw the box away. So I had to purchase it again at full price from Neptune. And this cigar I've been holding on to because it is the only one that I could get at the time. It is not limited production, there are a lot more out there, but this cigar kind of holds a special place for me. It's the Survivor. And it is my one and only that I've been holding on and saving for the finale for I Want the Smoke. What do we know about this cigar? Well, the Placencia Amaforte is a Nicaraguan puro. We know binder, filler, and wrapper are Nicaraguan. This is rolled at the Placencia Cigars Factory. So they have their own establishment and they have a focus for their particular cigars. This cigar is a behemoth seven inches 58 at the widest point here for the ring gauge this is a salamone and you see the body style on this one is somewhat of a perfecto and it has a bit of its own thing where it tapers at one end i love the look of this cigar i love the smell of it i love the bands i love everything about the cigar it is really well made is such a brilliant addition to my humidor. As we mentioned before, it is a premium cigar. The MSRP is $22. This was released October of 2016. I cannot wait. I haven't had this particular Vitola, haven't had this particular size, so there's nothing left to do but cut, light, and smoke this cigar. I'll see you guys on the rooftop. Let's blow the smoke. Your boy is absolutely beside himself with excitement right now. Like, the smile on my face, I feel like a kid in a candy store. This is the flavor that they savor up here, neighbor. This is real. There's no exaggeration to this. I'm ready for this damn cigar. Let's cut in light, man. The taste of this tobacco is, is nice to me. Like, it's like a waxy dark chocolate just and that's off just the taste of the exterior tobacco i can't wait to get into this to see how much this develops and transitions i know it's going to be fantastic 
excuse the wind. The weather is beautiful out here right now. It's just windy, and I don't think that's going to affect the smoke very much at all. It may affect the video. We'll see. But nothing is going to stop me from enjoying this bad boy. Excellent start, wonderful smoke output. Let's see where this goes. Just from the start, it's pepper, dark chocolate, and there's a oaky, woody, almost walnut-like taste that is at the start. Um, this is so early, so I don't want to get too deep into it. Let's enjoy the smoke and see what happens from there. You guys stay tuned. Stand by. Okay, I'm early in the most prominent portion of this cigar. The larger, more bulbous end of the Salomon. What you get from this cigar initially is I don't know how familiar you guys are with baking if you have uh, if you bake yourself if you have a grandmother that bakes but remember the can the, the kind of squared can of Hershey's when you would pop it open and you had that dark powdered chocolate that's what it smells like and that's what it tastes like combine that with like uh, cracked walnuts or pecan and you get this very earthy uh, tree nut taste that goes along with it also it's slightly creamy it's kind of hard to describe it as creamy it's a very smoother smoke than i expected with a little bit of spice on the back end and the finish on this is, is long it stays with you like i haven't taken a pull from this uh, while i was talking to you but i'm still tasting the chocolate i still taste the walnut and i have the spice just kind of all around the oils on your lips are are delicate but they are definitely there and the retro hell on this is that fragrant chocolatey taste and smell i mean it is it's honestly it's magnificent that's what i can kind of partake right now i have so much further to go i think it's going to be a long smoke time on this one but who can complain about that you guys stay tuned stand by i'll be back back with a quick update the flavors haven't changed much other than the smoothness of this cigar has grown so much smoother. The draw is pleasant. That part is doing well. You can see the construction as far as the ash on this is holding on. I don't think that's going anywhere for a while. And I'm not even trying to hold the ash on. That is pretty significant. There is a drawback though. You guys know me. I like to be honest with my reviews. Look at that. Now, I don't think that's the norm. I put a picture up so you guys can actually see what's going on here. There was a patch in this cigar. For a $22 cigar, that's kind of disappointing and kind of frustrating. And this is the result of that patch that I've just approached. The wrapper is splitting. That's disappointing. Without further ado, let's clear the smoke. What's the verdict? I got beyond the little hiccup that I had with the construction of the cigar. And I'm getting down towards the end. Very slow burning smoke. It's really mellow, a lot of spice. But the standout for this cigar is that chocolate. It has not gone anywhere from the moment the cigar started all the way until where I am at this point. Aside from that little hiccup, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the cigar. So, is it box worthy? I'll say yes. I went back and forth just kind of debating over this with myself, you know, due to the construction. But I highly doubt that would be commonplace, especially for a $22 cigar. If that's the case, Placencia. Do something about that. 
if you patch this up, put it in the seconds, man. Do do something else. But I haven't had any troubles other than that. The ash holds on phenomenally well. The quality of the tobacco in this cigar is top notch. It definitely lives up to the hype when it comes to that. There's no exaggeration on that. Wonderful cigar. Flavor wise, I recommend this for anyone. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the rest of this and I'll see you guys in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up I Want the Smoke season two. That was the Placencia Almafuerte. You guys let me know what you think about the cigar. You got my opinions. I want yours down in the comments. Give me your feedback. If you like this review, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends about the show. We got so many more shows other than I Want the Smoke. We have Special Delivery, The Top 10, Buyer's Guide, and who knows, there may be even more to come. So you guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching. My name is EKB. This is Vintage Cigar. That was the Placencia Amaforte. It's been a great season. We got more shows for you right here that you guys can watch. Keep smoking. Peace. I told you, man, I ain't hearing that leaving shit, Rome. I just ain't hearing that shit, damn.